So how's that bailout or economic rescue plan euphemism $700 billion thing going? Uh, it was the president's plan, you will recall, when he wasn't a totally lame duck. And it's not going all that well, it seems. The Treasury Department seems to be changing its plans on the bailout. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson spoke today about the department's plans for the $400 billion that's still left of the bailout. We are examining strategies to support consumer access to credit outside of the banking system. But what happened to the large-scale purchases of questionable mortgage-related securities, the original model for the $700 billion financial rescue plan? That plan didn't really happen, or it's not going to happen anymore? And what about the auto industry? Early last month, Congress and President Bush handed the U.S. auto companies $25 billion. But that apparently was not enough. General Motors, the symbol of American manufacturing since the early 1900s, has said that they will run out of cash early next year if the market doesn't improve. One of my producers here yesterday bought GM stock, which sold for more than 30 bucks a share a year ago. He bought it for three and a quarter. Yeah, and then it was off another 17 cents at the close today. I'm sorry, Kurt. Um, so no GM? We can't really let that happen as a country, can we? So are we going to bail them out again? Are we going to bail them out more? Speaker Nancy Pelosi wants to, saying last night this, emergency assistance is needed in order to prevent the failure of one or more of the major American automobile manufacturers. Now, Secretary Paulson today called autos a, quote, critical industry in this country. Yeah, duh. But basically, he said the bailout wasn't designed to help automakers. So from the administration, which has brought the world well more than its fair share of failed strategies and disastrous operations, we now get a bailout that sort of feels like a corporate horror movie. Was this a good idea after all? Here now is Robert Reich, a member of the Obama Economic Transition Team. He's a professor at the University of California, Berkeley's Goldman School of Public Policy. And of course, he is a former Secretary of Labor under President Bill Clinton. Robert Reich's new book, Super Capitalism, is out now. Secretary Reich, thanks for joining us. Good evening, Rachel. How are you? I'm great, but I'm a little weirded out about this bailout. Um, I feel like there's $400 billion left to spend. That means we've spent almost that much already. And yeah. I don't know what to look for to know whether or not that money that has been spent has been well spent. Well, you're not alone. Uh, this has not been exactly a transparent bailout process. Hank Paulson and the Treasury have burned through about uh, $300 billion of money so far. People don't know exactly where it has gone. He announced today that he was changing techniques. Now, he's already changed techniques. Congress understood when it passed the bailout package that it was, uh, it was actually going to enable him to buy back uh, those mortgage-backed securities, uh, kind of a reverse mor mortgage to create a market in those securities. But actually, now he wants to give money, and he has been giving money directly to the banks, even though the banks are turning around and giving dividends to their shareholders and giving uh, deferred uh, compensation to their executives and planning acquisitions of, of other banks. Uh, so what exactly is happening to Main Street? Uh, is the money getting to Main Street? And uh, not much of it. Why is Secretary Paulson changing horses midstream here? Why is he changing strategy? Clearly, it's, it seems like there were problems in what he was initially doing, but those seemed like things that could be fixed by just adding some additional strings to the money, couldn't they? Uh, yes, uh, Rachel. And here, I want to be very, very careful because I'm not speaking at all for the president-elect, even though I'm advising him in the transition. I'm speaking for myself. But it seems to me that, uh, yes, there should be a lot of strings attached to any bailout. And if you're bailing out Wall Street banks, you ought to say, look, uh, the taxpayer money is not going to go to uh, to substitute for executive salaries or bonuses or deferred uh, compensation or dividends to shareholders or or anything else it ought to go to Main Street it ought to go to small businesses it ought to go to homeowners who are uh, in desperate straits and maybe losing their homes it ought to go to students who need student loans I mean the banks are are getting this money presumably because there is some public purpose behind getting the money otherwise uh, presumably they'd go into chapter 11 reorganization or bankruptcy we're hearing now that um, American Express and the auto industry and other industries are all coming to the government now saying that they would like lots of many billions of dollars, please, to bail them out as well. Should that be seen as a separate issue? Uh, should those be considered individually on their merits? Or should those be considered part of the bailout that was already approved? 
Again, my view is that uh, the real test ought to be jobs and people and communities. Uh, with regard to the big three, an argument can be made, Rachel, that you've got uh, three million jobs uh, directly related to automobiles, the automobile industry and suppliers and dealers, and you've got probably 25 million indirectly related. And with all those jobs, uh, there is a real big impact on Main Street. Now, that doesn't mean you just give money to GM and Ford and Chrysler because they've been going downhill and that would just be a taxpayer money down the drain. You ought to put some strings on that money. You ought to say, uh, look, you guys, you've got to produce uh, competitive cars. You've got to produce fuel efficient cars. You've got to maintain your employment. Everybody's got to sacrifice creditors and shareholders and, and maybe even uh, the UAW uh, in order to make sure that there's enough money for a major restructuring of this industry. It's a big American industry, but it's going down the tubes. Robert Reich, member of President-elect Obama's economic transition team, a professor at Cal, and a former Secretary of Labor under President Bill Clinton. Thanks for your time tonight, sir. Nice to see you. Thanks, Rachel. Bye-bye. Coming up next.